Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about a way of layering two different rhythms over each other. Um, that's really common in a lot of different types of music across you know, Middle Eastern music, Latin music, American music, whatever. Um, so first I'm just going to kind of explain the idea and then show how you do it on guitar. So the rhythm I'm talking about here, it's all in four. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is layer two different ways of playing four over each other. So the first one is the most obvious way, just one, two, three, four, right? So a steady beat. Right. Um, the second one is probably the second most common way common way to play four, which is to divide it into three in an uneven way. So you have three, three, and two, right? Uh, adds up to eight. Um, in written music, this would be you know two dotted quarter notes followed by a quarter note. So basically, the first rhythm is just. And the second one is right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like that. So first I'll show how to do these um, just drumming. You know, the, it's it's easier to actually do these at the same time with separate hands. Um, so let's say the left hand is just keeping the steady beat. Right. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the right hand is going to do, right. So basically, uh, the way to learn this is to see how they line up exactly, um, and then kind of gradually speed it up. So the way they line up, you get, I'll count this with ands. So one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and right. So basically, what the two hands are doing, they line up on the one and the four, and then on the second beat, uh, the right hand, so the one that's three, three, two, falls on the end of the two, right? So, right, that's what you get. Um, this is the basic way of building rhythms. You can make a, a you know a lot of different combinations out of these just by eliminating some of the rhythms, so you know one really common thing to do is to uh, play only two beats rather than four, so only play the one and the three, right? So then you get You can also eliminate the first beat of the three, three, two, so then you get stuff like Right. A lot of different combinations, you can alternate which hand is doing what, but it's the same basic idea. It's this 1, 2, 3, 4 over 3, 3, 2. So the second step is to apply this to the guitar. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult because you're actually doing both parts with one hand. right? So basically you think of the thumb as one of these parts and the other finger is the other part. You know, It can be the index finger or ring finger. You know, Eventually you can also do picking like that. Um, so we'll start with just the thumb playing A and the index finger playing the high E here, right? And the thumb is doing this beat. Right? I'll slow it down a bit. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So again, you can add variation to this. Um, you know, you can flip it around. Uh, this actually sounds a lot better when the three, three, two beat is on the bass. Um, but you know, besides flipping it around, another really common thing is to just play only two beats here on the high part, right? So. Right. Or play, you know, put a rest into one of the beats. So you know replace one of the beats with a rest, so. Right. Uh, you know, another thing is to actually eliminate one of the bass beats, so.
So as you can see, there's a lot of different possibilities. Um, it's good to first just practice these like this on open strings, and eventually when you get really comfortable with it, you can start adding bass lines and melodies, you know, stuff like that. Or, 